everyone, super excited to share some updates on the HTCS. Uh, we have one of our prototypes mounted here. Wanted to share a little bit about why I'm excited uh, and then also uh, some timelines and uh, what we've been working on uh, over the last couple months. So what's really exciting about the HTCS uh, is the, the onboard processing power, yes, uh, and also the design. This is one of the early prototypes that we have pictured here. So it doesn't have all the, the black powder coating and uh, the, cool, the cool final aesthetics. Uh, that the ones coming off the production line will. will. We'll share some updates around that. But it does have all the great processing power. So we're really excited because we can do all sorts of interesting object detection in much more powerful and efficient ways on the HTCS. Um, the HTC is, uh, is a great mapping device. Uh, this just takes it uh, a step further. So it does all the things that you would expect from a dash cam. It's going to be recording video. It's also going to be mapping at the same time. So it maps in the same way the HTC does. So in order to make it work with all this extra processing power, it actually it produces a lot of heat, number one. And number two, those extra processors really impact how uh, GNSS performs. Um, so over the last couple months, what we've been doing is refining the design to make sure that the extra processing power is not impacting uh, our ability to get a good lock and signal. Um, so what that's meant for us is you know, we're changing the shape of the board slightly. We've changed the housing. Um, the, the housing is now, it's a little bit better at uh, getting rid of all the extra heat. Um, so we've made some updates to deal with heat. Uh, the housing is also a little bit thicker. Um, it's not thicker in a way that you're gonna notice. We've, we've added more metal on the inside. Um, in addition, we've changed the shape of the housing a little bit to deal with, uh, deal with some of the interference that the, um, the CPU generates. So right now we've been, off, uh, we've been off testing it. It's got a ton of cool sensors. It's got the depth sensors that we've talked about before. Um, it's got IMU, that internal motion unit, but it also has uh, a magnetometer. And this magnetometer is really interesting, but requires some different calibration than uh, we've done on the HTC. So we're working, uh, working through some of those things. Um, but again, all the software in the app works just the same for the HTC and the HTCS. Um, we really think it's worth the wait. We're really excited about how it's performing and how it's looking. And uh, thank you so much for your patience, and we'll update you again soon.